you're about to find out what a single piece of stainless steel machinery can do for the environment. But let's take it from the top. I'm sure you know that cheese has been with us for a long time. Thousands of years, in fact. Over the years, it's grown increasingly popular. Just think of all the local traditional delicacies made from cheese. Is that a perfectly ripe creamy cheddar? Delicious! And it all adds up. Today, worldwide consumption of cheese stands at an incredible 20 million tonnes every single day. But this film is not about cheese. It's about whey. Whey is a by-product of cheese production, and there's a lot of it. For most varieties of cheese, you need 10 kilograms of milk to produce 1 kilogram of cheese, leaving you with 9 kilograms of whey. That's a 10 to 1 ratio. Whey becomes a headache for most cheese manufacturers because of the large volumes that need to be transported off-site for refinement or even released with the factory wastewater. You see, simply dumping it would be a waste, since whey contains a lot of valuable proteins and minerals ideal for human consumption, from babies to bodybuilders. Oh dear, was that really necessary? So, we all think nutritional supplements. But actually, you can make really tasty cream whey butter. Or why not try one of my favourites, ricotta cheese. Ah. Approximately 95% of whey is water. So, to be able to get to the valuable whey solids, you first have to get rid of a lot of water. Now, you probably think that there are already machines on the market that can handle this. And there are. They're often large, expensive, and are made to handle huge quantities of the stuff. Good for the giant manufacturers, but certainly not the solution for the hundreds of thousands of small to medium-sized cheese manufacturers around the world. So, with these manufacturers in mind, we designed a neater version. Hmm, elegant. But let's look at what it actually does. The process filters out two-thirds of the water content that, in turn, can be reused in production. And this is great news for cheese manufacturers who are able to cut costs instead of adding to them. But more importantly, how does all this impact the environment? Let's look at a typical medium-sized cheese manufacturer. Could be from anywhere in the world. He produces 18 tonnes of cheese a day, which results in an incredible 160 tonnes of whey every day, all year round. These figures are pretty mind-boggling. I'll put it into perspective. Using our filtration technique, just 200 of these cheese manufacturers will recover as much water as the entire population of New York City drinks in a single day. The same 200 reduce the effluent load emission equivalent to the amount of household sewage produced in London, Tokyo and Sydney combined. Imagine the collective impact if all small and medium-sized cheese manufacturers optimise their process in this way. It all adds up to a more sustainable world.